Hello, I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'm going to talk about the small ray cage for the GH4. The cage from small rig for the GH4 is actually a very nice cage over here. Uh, I'm going to be giving my opinion on it, what are my experiences with this cage. So people looking for a cage for the GH4 this will really be a good choice for you, especially if you're going to be running and gunning a lot uh, in a handheld mode and where you use a rig, then this is a very nice solution. You can really touch all your keys over here because it's customized for the GH4, so you can reach everything. I've not had problems using this cage. Uh, sometimes I want to take a picture and then it's a little bit tricky, uh, but for filming, <laughs> it's made for filming, so uh, for filming this is perfect. Um, you have here on the side, you can uh, put your hands on here so you can have a wider grip and a steadier grip on your GH4. It's a little bit tight over here, but it's just enough to put your fingers in there. If you want more space, you can of course add handles, stuff like that, and just make it bigger and then it's all up to you. Mine came with a handle. And the handle is also very, very steady, so it's very strong, it doesn't move at all, and it just looks like a very professional cage that isn't going to break anytime soon. If I would let my camera fall, I think this cage would also protect it a little bit. Of course, the lens would be broken, but like on the sides, it's so strong, and I really like this around my, my camera. It looks more professional, it feels more professional, it keeps my handheld movements a lot smoother, uh, one thing is that you have to really put this on your camera to leave it on there. So uh, if you're planning on really switching a lot between cages, you want this cage and then you want to use a gimbal and just put your GH4 without a cage on there, which I do sometimes, uh, it can, can be a, a bit tricky because you have to unscrew this here. Uh, these things are toolless, but some things you'll need tools like, for example, it slides also in the top part where you put your microphone, I'm not sure how to call it, um, but where you slide your microphone you can slide this cage as well, just so your camera won't move at all in this cage, which is a very nice thing, it doesn't move at all and it won't move anyways because it's screwed on the bottom and on the top it's also attached to this cage. So that's very nice if you want to keep this in a cage, but if you want to switch out a lot between, yeah, like I said, the cage and a gimbal for example, then you have to unscrew these things and can consume a little bit of time. But if you have a shoot where you are prepared and you know you're going to shoot with a rig or a handheld, this is a great solution. Uh, for people that only shoot uh, handheld, this is also a good solution so you can uh, really Hold your camera a little bit more steadier and also for a lower shot you can use your handle so that's also very nice. You can attach a lot of things to this cage. Uh, as you can see over here I attached my, um, my microphone over here on the side. I could also uh, put it here on my handle but I thought it was going to become way too high then. Uh, it's just a personal preference so I bought an extra uh, thing here so I can uh, put my microphone over here. You can really make this complete rig like you want to. It's completely customizable, so that's very great for people that want to have their own complete custom rig for themselves. Also, on the bottom, you can see I have these uh, prepared sliders, so I can really put it on a rig very quickly. Apart from that, it's just a cage. I can't say much more than that. Then it does feel professional. It's very, very strong. Um, it's easier for steadier shots. I really, really like this cage. And I'm also going to use this cage actually for some vlogging that I just started out together with my business partner, Arno. Uh, we are trying to start a vlog channel where we're going to be uh, yeah, talking about our business, how we start our business, because we just started a week ago. Yeah, that's something that we are trying out, seeing what happens. And this is actually a great solution to try and vlog us. Uh, and it's, yeah, we can do a lot of things. We can also set it, set it somewhere and stuff like that, so that's great. It's not that heavy at all uh, on the GH4, the GH4 itself is quite heavy, but um, the cage itself isn't going to add up much weight to your camera, so that's also a great thing. If you want to see more about our vlogs, you can also check on the description. We are uh, we are just trying and testing out stuff, so an opinion would also uh, would always be great. So. And that's about it about this cage. Nothing more to say than, yeah, what I just said. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see how I can help you. So if you like the video, give it a like 
And if you want to keep subscribed to all my upcoming videos, subscribe. It's completely free, so why not? Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.